Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple fidget spinner in SolidWorks and uh, we will assemble it and give it some in simple animation. I hope you like it. So let's see how to do in SolidWorks. Now here let's start the first part of fidget spinner, the main body. So let's start, keep top plane, sketch, select here circle and draw two circles three circles one and keep two smaller okay now select the outer one choose here for construction the second one also choose for construction purpose that's it now let's define it outer diameter 85 millimeter 30 millimeter inside one 22 the I inside one okay now let's choose center line exit now select both the lines and make relation equal now let's define 34 millimeter again choose center line and draw one center line take it from the center point so 17 millimeter okay now it's time to define our curves so let's choose center point arc this one keeps center I start from here to this point now again select this center I start from here to this point exit choose here line select this one and go back this point and see it will automatically convert into arc up to this line again convert it into arc again convert it into arc and select this one exit now here make sure tangent relation here also tangent select this line and this tangent okay that's fine now let's define radius keep 3 millimeter keep radius 15 millimeter okay now select here center line connect from here to this point exit choose the smart dimension and define the angle 120 millimeter see this is the perfect our geometry and even it is fully defined so choose here circular pattern and we will make multiple number of pattern this one parameters keep this center point and at the end you will choose entities to pattern and select all the curves choose here 360 degree equal spacing and three number of patterns we would like to make okay that's it select extruded boss select this face mid plane keep 10 millimeter it is sufficient okay see choose fillet 2 millimeter select one edge bottom edge okay now we, we will make some cutouts so select this face a sketch normal select this circle offset entity make 2 millimeter ok select this two lines offset 1.2 millimeter reverse direction fine one point two millimeter okay fine select circle keep fifteen millimeter offset keep two millimeter clear
okay let's uh, make it 14 mm then try offset keep 2 mm okay now choose trim entities choose here power trim just press the key and cut see okay this is what exactly we need choose fillet 1 mm select all the sharp edges okay Le circular pattern we want three number of patterns so choose here center point and here select this all geometry select all the curves and lines keep 360 degree equal spacing and here choose four three number of patterns okay see select extruded cut and we would like to cut through all okay that's it <coughs> so this is a kind of our body keep 1 mm select this inside face so it will cover all the edges okay chamfer 0.5 and select inside edge okay now it's time to define some blue polished i'll go to plastic high gloss blue polished and uh, red uh, even no need this one is it looks nice color let's try to make little difference so okay so this is your first part of fidget spinner main body let's save it part 1 select body let's make the cover upper uh, upper and lower cover earlier we used this type of color so let's change it little we need uh, make it red dark red okay save it now let's do the other part now here let's make the second part top cover so let's start choose top plane sketch and choose here line center line exit now select here line and i start from any one point exit now this is the exact our geometry let's define this geometry 9 mm 6 mm now let's 2 mm 
point four millimeter. Now distance from here to this point keep four millimeter. One point five millimeter and uh, let's define this overall length ten point forty five millimeter. 10.75 millimeter that's it now distance from this to 5.75 millimeter see here the design is fully defined so just select revolve the boss base select this line okay now choose here chamfer 0.2 millimeter 45 degree and select this face that's it choose fillet keep 1 millimeter select this now define blue abs and change the color red let's save this part number 2 top cover let's say the bottom cover now here let's start the third part bottom cover so uh, let's choose top plane sketch and choose here line and uh, start from okay exit now choose full length 8.9 millimeter 6.9 millimeter 0.4 millimeter and define it 2 millimeter by default that's it 2.45 millimeter uh, 5.75 millimeter and the full length 10.75 millimeter keep here fillet 1 millimeter select this corner ok now this is the fully defined geometry let's choose revolve boss base select this outer line as axis axis of revolution let's choose chamfer 0.2 millimeter 45 degree select this face ok so this is the our bottom cover go to appearance plastic high gloss plastic blue polished abs see go to change the red color ok let's save this part number 3 bottom cover this chamfer I think we forget ok that's it here let's start the assembly of fidget spinner so choose here new assembly now see here this is the assembly window of solidworks uh, it will ask you to begin assembly so just browse our first part you can change the size of uh, your parts let's make first body okay if you choose white it looks uh, better now here we want to add some bearing so just go to design library toolbox select here add in now and uh, we will choose it uh, ISO then let's say bearing ball bearing and uh, let's choose instrumental precision ball bearing let's drag it now 
the ball bearing size od 22 mm bore 7 thickness 7 this is better per perfect uh, reading for us come down choose your full ball here select detailed now you can see so this is the perfect one 020722 two. select ok now it is asking you you need one more so select here no just choose met co-centric co relation ok select this face uh, we will add letter first uh, we will bring our other parts top cover bottom cover open this is our top cover mat select this face and the bearing make relation co-centric ok select this face and this face make relation co coincident ok uh, we want to do one thing uh, that's fine uh, at least uh, we will see how it rotates uh, let's fix the bearing select this face and this face make here distance gap we want to uh, keep in mid face so let's select 7 10 minus 7 3 3 by 2 1.5 millimeter select here ok that's fine just rotate this mat select this inside hole and this one make co-centric relation that's fine select the inside one select this one see here ok it's going to fix here now here we want to create some relation so just go to the second one this one edit and uh, here choose some distance 1 millimeter uh, 1 millimeter is quite bit bigger 0.5 millimeter and select reverse and here select flip alignment uh, no I think uh, this is also not okay we forget to add you can see in your left hand side flip dimension that's it okay now that's fine okay now right click on this right click on this select float right click on this fixed now this one is fixed see it will rotate like this now save this assembly right click here and choose motion manager go to motion study up this window first choose motion analysis then 50 revol frame per second I always prefer 50 frame per second 8 seconds now let's make motor and I'll select this body so inside face see because this outer body we want to move it now just come down and revolution make 20 revolution per minute ok select here calculate uh, this 20 revolution is uh, too less even if you want to increase it you can increase it just take this back 
edit motor and make it 40 now again calculate now it looks it rotates more faster play uh, it rotates more faster now here we will add some exploded view choose exploded view select the bottom one uh, make it more undo this one keep more up okay so this is 8 minutes so let's add here animation wizard exploded view next okay 4 second start time 8 second finished again collapse next 4 second this one 12 second finished play now play so this is the our simple widget spinner in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and if you have any comments just write down below